Have you ever thought about growing your own fresh mushrooms from the ones you buy at the store? Well, today, we're going to bring you closer to that dream. In this video, we'll show you a simple, low-cost method to clone store-bought mushrooms so you can keep harvesting fresh mushrooms forever. Not all mushrooms are equally easy to clone. Some, like oyster mushrooms and straw mushrooms, grow fast and are very forgiving. Others, like shiitake and lion's mane, take more time and require stricter conditions to succeed. And then there are mushrooms like button mushrooms and portobello, which are much harder to clone using simple home methods. But don't worry. Today, we'll guide you through the easiest and most effective cloning method for two of the best beginner-friendly mushrooms, straw mushrooms and oyster mushrooms. To start, make sure you choose fresh mushrooms with intact stems. Look for mushrooms that have a white, fuzzy layer of mycelium at the base, this means they are still alive and ready to grow. Avoid mushrooms with dry, cracked, or cut-off stems, they won't clone successfully. Mushrooms need a clean, nutrient-rich environment to grow. For the easiest method, you can use boiling water to sterilize cardboard, this makes it soft and removes unwanted bacteria. If you want better long-term results, try pasteurized sawdust or sterilized grains like brown rice for faster mycelium growth. In this case, we are using rice husks and cornmeal, but you can substitute with other grains like wheat, barley, or even hardwood sawdust. First, soak the grains or sawdust overnight to soften them and increase moisture retention. Once drained, Mix them with a nutrient source, such as cornmeal, which provides extra food for the growing mycelium. Next, pack the mixture into plastic bags or plastic bottles with small air vents for proper airflow. Seal the vents with cotton plugs to prevent contamination while still allowing oxygen exchange. Finally, Sterilize the bags or bottles in a steamer or pressure cooker at 15 PSI for 6 to 8 hours to eliminate unwanted bacteria and mold. Break the mushroom tissue into tiny pieces and layer them alternately, cardboard first, then mushroom pieces, until the container is full, gently press down to ensure good contact, then seal the container. Now that we've completed the cardboard cloning method, let's move on to the sterilized grain-based method, which provides a cleaner and more controlled environment for mycelium growth. Take a sterilized knife or scalpel and cut a small piece from the mushroom's stem base. Make sure to use only the freshest part with visible mycelium for the best results. Now, carefully open the sterilized bag of pasteurized rice husks and cornmeal, making sure not to introduce any contaminants. Using tweezers or clean hands, place the mushroom pieces evenly throughout the substrate gently pressing them in to ensure good contact once done seal the bag securely and shake it lightly to distribute the mushroom tissue evenly now it's ready for incubation
Now, place your jar or bag in a warm, dark place, 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit slash 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, and wait for one to two weeks. When you see white, fluffy mycelium spreading throughout, it's ready for the next step, expanding into a larger grow environment. Now that our mycelium is fully colonized, the next step is turning it into a thriving mushroom farm, the process is simple. First, break the mycelium into smaller pieces and mix it with a moist, pasteurized growing medium like straw or sawdust. Then, place the mixture into breathable bags or containers, keep it in a warm, humid environment, and wait for the magic to happen. Want a detailed step-by-step -step guide on growing mushrooms at home? Check out our previous video, How to Grow Mushrooms at Home Without a Kit. Click the link on the screen to watch. Similar to the oyster mushrooms we just saw, growing straw mushrooms follows the same process. However, the key difference is that straw mushrooms require a larger growing substrate to thrive. Instead of small bags or bottles, use larger containers, trays, or even outdoor beds filled with pasteurized straw or agricultural waste like rice husks or banana leaves. Once the substrate is prepared, evenly mix in the colonized mycelium, making sure it's spread throughout for faster colonization. Cover the top lightly with an extra layer of moist straw to help retain humidity. Keep the setup in a warm and humid environment, 28 to 35 degrees Celsius slash 82 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, as straw mushrooms require higher temperatures than oyster mushrooms. With proper moisture and ventilation, you'll start seeing mushroom pins emerging within 7 to 10 days. If you see green mold, lower humidity and improve airflow. If the mycelium isn't spreading, Check your temperature and moisture levels, it may be too dry or too cold. And just like that, from one mushroom, you've created an unlimited supply, for free, want to know how to store and cook homegrown mushrooms properly? Check out our next video, and for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!